now once you are done with this what you have to do you have to go to your original application so our application is in localhost 8000 right and the earlier we were clicking on login similar way we will click on login so the first level of authentication it is showing and i am signing in the moment you sign in because you have enabled now the authentication for this particular user shantanu and you have said two factor authentication is required it is asking that from where your authentication should occur now to do this as i said you i have installed google authenticator keyclock has direct uh, integration with the uh, free otp as well as google authenticator so you can choose any of them and you have to install that in your mobile so i will do the next steps through my mobile now now open the mobile go to the play store or in android i mean in android play store or in app store depending upon which mobile you are using search for google authenticator i am searching for google authenticator if you want to do go for free otp that also you can do okay now you have to click on get started in your mobile like this and you have to scan the qr code which is displayed on screen so take your mobile and scan it once you scan you will get a code on your mobile now this code is what you will be put inside the web browser now based on the my realm authentication what i will do i will put what i got in my mo mobile so it keeps on changing in 30 seconds so 0 6 0 8 2 3 is what it is showing at the moment and device name is shantanu now you submit that see the authentication is now successful so this is the way how we should be doing our two factor authentication and then if you are invoking the service it is still working so now next time when you want to do again when you are coming and when you are clicking on sign in it will ask for one time code now onwards and that one time code is again available on your mobile by opening your google authenticator you just type the number at the moment it is 174837 what it is coming in my mobile and now i am able to log into the application hope that clears the whole uh, way how to configure the two factor authentication if you are doing a poc you know that how to enable those things with key clock thanks let's move to the next section